Yeah, yeah. For a fixed launch speed, the horizontal range of a projectile motion depends on the angle of projection. The maximum range occurs at 45 degrees. Oh, what's so special about 45 degrees? The range of a projectile motion can be calculated by multiplying the horizontal velocity with the time of flight. Since the time of flight is directly proportional to the initial vertical velocity, the range is directly proportional to the products of initial velocity and horizontal velocity. If the angle of projection is too small, the vertical velocity is too small, and the time of flight is too short, resulting in a short horizontal distance traveled. If the angle of projection is too large, the horizontal velocity is too small, leading again to a short horizontal range. So low angles are like rabbits. They run very fast but go to sleep too early. High angles are like tortoises. They crawl for a long time but don't get very far. So the winner is something right in the middle between the tortoises and the rabbits. Like a torbit? Yes, at 45 degrees. At 45 degrees, aren't the two velocities the same? Yes. What a coincidence! Not really. Because the range is proportional to the products of initial vertical and horizontal velocities, the range can be represented by the area of the rectangle with sides equal to the initial vertical and horizontal velocities and diagonal equals to the launch speed. For a particular diagonal length, the biggest rectangle you can form is the square. Yippee! Square speed rectangles!